today. What are we doing today? Uh, We're doing toys. I want toys. <laughs> so today is going to be a huge project. This is going to be the first part to my Nest With Me series where I basically just get my entire life together and tackle room by room, declutter it, organize it, donate things that are still good. So today we are tackling all of the toys. So I'm currently in the playroom and we're going to go into the garage because I do toy yeah, rotations I for like my children. Toys. You like toys? Yeah. Yes. So I do toy rotations for my kids. So I have a two year old, I also have a nine year old and I have a five year old. So we're gonna go into the garage where I keep all of the toys that are out of rotation. We're going to bring them into the playroom and I am gonna go through every single toy in the house. I'm going to trash all of the toys that are like broken and just cannot be reused. And then we're going to make a huge donation pile of all of the toys that are still in good condition that can just go to another child that could get more use out of them than we are currently using. So here's what our playroom currently looks like. I don't need to do too much in here. We just cleaned it and I just did a toy rotation yesterday because we ended up getting a new Love Every Play Kit in, so for the most part, the playroom is good, but I figured I would give you guys a little tour really quickly. So this is our homeschool area. Yeah, you like school? And then this is our newest addition to the playroom, which is the nugget couch. The kids got this as an early Christmas present because it was recommended not to leave it into the box. So that's our newest addition. And then over here, we have our sensory table where we just like color, do crafts, the kids also like to eat snacks right there. And then this is our main play area space. So we have the cubby shelf where I do rotate all of the toys. I just did a toy rotation like I said, so I don't need to go through any of these toys because they're basically all brand new. So this big bin right here is going to be used for donations. So any toys that we're going to be donating, I'm gonna just put them in here. That way I can easily put it in my car and take it to a donation spot. And then all of these little bins in here, I just recently picked up from Target. These are by the brand Bright Room. Absolutely love these bins. Like I said, I do toy rotations. So I store the toys that are out of rotation inside those little bins. And then I store them in my garage on a shelf. So I'm gonna just keep this in here and now I'm gonna just pull all of the bins from the garage. Okay, so the lighting in my garage absolutely sucks so I'm trying to do this with the light on my phone. But here is all of our toys that are currently out of rotation. As you can see, we are just overflowing with toys right now so we need to absolutely <laughs> declutter this and downsize this before Christmas. I not only wanna declutter it but I also wanna organize it into better categories so for example, like inside one bin, all of our little like animal figures, and then inside another bin, kitchen things. I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me. This is all of the toys I pulled out of the garage. It's unreal how many toys we have. I may need to grab another donation bin. So I ended up moving everything into the playroom. The dining table was just not working out. I feel like me getting on the floor, doing all of this will just be a lot easier. So everything is all laid out. I have my donation bin over here, trash bin over here. So I'm gonna just start opening bin by bin, getting rid of trash, getting rid of donations. Try to do this as best as I can with this little girl over here because she's trying to play with everything. Up till now, don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes, so it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide, falling in love. Now, we start 
started some things Think that we got grew stronger Each day we're together On the way or oh, we're falling in love Little things like this get in here some like random things like see like things like this automatically trash I don't ever really let the kids watch Coco Melon. It's like a big no for me. So this He's gone This one gone This goes over here Screen. And then when I start to organize all of the toys into the correct bins it just makes it so much easier because then all of the sets are together so that's kind of what me and Layla are doing right now the last bins that I pretty much need to go through is the baby bins this stuff kind of makes me so sad like this one this one was the little llama that was attached to Jade's pacifier that she had all the time but I don't know if I'm gonna save this for baby brother because I did just buy him one actually his is a little teddy bear so I don't know if I need this but a part of me just like wants to keep it but most of this stuff I think I am going to keep this one Jade didn't really love it that much so I think I'm gonna just donate this one um this one probably donate to just like a little puzzle this one I'm definitely going to keep. She loved this one, so I feel like baby brother will love it too. I'll probably keep this teether. Jade didn't really ever suck on this, but I just will obviously sterilize it. This one, no. This one, no. This one is another like teether. She never really chewed on this. Jade wasn't really ever a baby to put like things in her mouth. So this stuff is still basically new. It's been in this bin. I obviously will sterilize it if I use it for baby boy. But for the most part, this stuff is going to stay. Like this was another hit. This like wobbler for tummy time was a hit. With little rattle. To me it's perfectly clear. We're falling in love. officially done so this is our keep pile now this over here is our donation pile so we have this whole bin this whole bin on the bottom and they are like jam-packed and then we also have this one which is like the tea set some kitchen play stuff and then these three bins are also donation so that's our donation pile and then all of this is trash i'm gonna quickly take you guys through what we kept i tried my best to organize it but there were some things that were just taking up like an entire bin and it was just completely unnecessary so i tried my best we kept the dollhouse because the girls love this we also kept our melissa and doug barn girls also really love that we kept some peppa stuff but we did downsize the peppa stuff a lot because we had 
like three different Peppa play sets. So now we only have one. So we have the Princess Castle. And then all of the Peppa characters are in here. This, the girls don't really play with it. But I'm going to keep this for baby brother. Because it's like a little wooden tissue box. I am since babies love to like pull things. I'm also keeping this pool pup for him. Keeping the love every house. The girls just played with this. I just took this out of rotation. So I know they still love that. This also just came out of rotation, but I also wanted to save this for baby brother. It's like a little musical llama. Also keeping this for baby brother, it's a ball drop. This is Layla's. She wanted to keep it. It's a little makeup vanity set. So I'm not going to open up all of the bins. I'm just going to try my best to show you guys. So this one is Layla's Barbies. This one is like, there's some felt balls in here, some stacking rocks, and some sorting eggs. Baby girl. Play over here, baby. Down here is all of the kitchen stuff like pots and pans and salt and pepper. This one is also kitchen stuff, but this is the toaster and blender down here. This bin is specifically for baby boy. This is all of the baby toys that I saved from Jade. So I'm saving those. This one is all of the doll set stuff. This one is some more kitchen stuff, but this one is like all sweets. So there's like jelly in here, popsicles, macaroons. This one is the sushi set. And then this one is also play food, but this one is like barbecue food. So like hot dogs, ribs. There's also veggies in here like corn and stuff. This one is basically empty because all of the other little people that we have is currently in rotation. So this bin will get filled up soon. This one is kind of random, but I needed a big bin like this. Jade just got this in, not this previous Love Every Kit, but the one before. This Jade just got for her birthday. It's a makeup set. This one down here is a, like, flower kit. The girls love that. You build, like, flowers. This one is all of the play silks, which we absolutely love. This one is car, so there's a train set down here, and then all of the Corey Carson toys. This one is all of our instruments. This one is blocks. This one is babies. So Jay doesn't really play with this baby anymore because this is the first baby doll that she got, I believe. It came in a Love Every kit too, but I'm gonna save this one for baby boy. This is like a little diaper kit, so it opens up and you can change the babies on it, and then it comes with like wipes diaper cream and a bottle and then there's also these babies in here which jade absolutely loves so i'm 100 saving that for baby boy this one is kind of like a puzzle bin this is all of the play-doh stuff which i kind of think i'm gonna keep the play-doh stuff inside of the homeschool cabinet because the girls always ask to play with play-doh and i'm constantly having to get out of the garage so i think i'm gonna swap the paint that's in this homeschool cabinet for the play-doh that way jade doesn't have access to the paint because she's been trying to get into that lately this one we're saving for baby boy aurora said she wanted to save it for him so that's why i kept this one so this is a like silicone block set so there's no sharp edges on these at all so it's safe for baby to chew on these are like dress up things we have some like wooden peg animals also for baby boy and then this one is all of our like animals so there's safari animals in here as well as dinosaurs. This bin is just like big things that didn't fit inside of like these clear plastic bins. So this is the woodsy house, woodsy car. I kept two cars to keep with the other Peppa stuff that we saved. The girls love these. We got them from Legoland. And then this is also Layla's. This is like all of her small toys. This is just like empty bins that I use for toy rotations. Jade just got a stroller for her birthday because she got like a baby doll, like an actual baby doll that wasn't soft like these ones over here. So even though we have another stroller, I'm saving this one because she actually learned to walk with this. So I figured I would save this for baby boy as well. So that is it for this huge toy declutter slash organization i may need to reevaluate all of the toys again after christmas because if the girls get like double something i would rather donate the older version and then have them keep the newer version if that makes sense we got rid of a ton a huge trash bag tons of donation bins so i'm really happy i would say this was successful it was really hard though because 
Jade ended up skipping her nap and she usually takes like a two and a half to three hour nap on a good day. So she was awake which made it really hard because as you can see she was just wanting to play with everything and I don't blame her because I do toy rotation so sometimes she forgets like we have a certain toy. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more organization videos because I don't know if it's too soon for me to consider it nesting but for the past couple weeks I literally want to clean and organize everything in my house so that's basically what I'm doing. I'm tackling one project at a time so I'm really happy that I got the toys done especially since Christmas is like in four days so I'm really happy with this so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye